The whole game starts off as a good versus evil thing back in the ancient times. The basic object of the game in playing Medieval Madness is to destroy the King of Pain. He's the evil warrior who's taken over the land and he's taken over all the castles. Fire! I am the Duke of Bourbon! <gasps> The King of Pain has five evil men that are under his, his leadership. And each of these guys is, a, is kind of a humorous tone. Um, the Duke of Bourbon, who is kind of this drunk guy who you're, you're trying to blow out of the air. There's the Earl of Ego, who's this real pompous guy who you just love to destroy his castle because he's so annoying. I am the Earl of Ego, and I am far superior to you. The one thing that uh, your beginner player, the first thing they'll see is the exploding castle. And this, this brings a lot of excitement to the game and keeps people interested. You have to hit the drawbridge and the drawbridge will come down. And then once that's down, there's a gate inside. And so you gotta hit the gate. And once the gate pops up, you can shoot into the castle and then you see this great show of the castle physically blowing apart on the playfield. Stop it! Another fun feature of the game is the trolls. These guys surprise a lot of people the first time you play because they're, they're hiding under the playfield normally, and when you make the right shot, they'll pop up from the playfield. Trolls rule! So you're trying to hit them three times to destroy them, and then they go back down. And all along this, the trolls will taunt you and, and say things to you and... Ow! That didn't hurt a bit! There's a big dragon over the ramp, and the whole concept on there is to make the ramp three times, and then you're able to shoot way up into the back into the damsel tower. And they're asking you to save me, save me. This is like totally medieval! Over on the left side, when you fall into the catapult, you get, you get to throw projectiles at the castle. And when you fall in there enough, you actually get to pick the projectile. So there's one of five different humorous things, like a cat and bowling ball, that you get to throw at the castle and see it explode. Fire! People enjoy laughing as they play the game. So if you look closer at the game, you'll see all these little elements, like the cow flying in the back glass, or the troll wearing gym shoes. You know, there's, there's all these humorous, wacky things going on in the kingdom. Attack from Mars was a, was a really strong earning pin last year. And we're, we're showing in our early testing that Medieval Madness is earning even better than Mars. So we're really looking at this being a blockbuster game. My tenure in the industry started back in 1937. I came into the industry when games were being changed over from battery power to electrical power. It seems that like about every 10 to 15 years, uh, uh, the pin game industry seems to lose a little bit of uh, acceptance in the field. Medieval Madness is an exciting game to play. It could conceivably be a game that resurrects this industry.